Hi everybody, it is time for an update on my planner. This is Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I know I went over October and November, so now I'm going to flip through December and I'm going, it's not very long. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to show you a new planner that I got um, that's not gonna take the place of this. Um, this is gonna still, excuse my nails, they're like splitting and breaking and everything from the cold weather. Um, but anyway, I got a, a new planner that is more date book and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet. I'm going on a diet this, this year, so I'll probably track my weight and my diet in there um, along with some goals that I have, uh, like finishing the edit on the last edit on my novel, which really should be done. So anyway... This was my dad's um, cover, and so that's why I use it. I It just reminds me of my dad. And inside I have Astology B6, which is slightly smaller than this planner is, um, but not terribly. So anyway, here is the beginning of December. Oh, look at that. My battery is already dying. How awesome is that? So anyway, this is the beginning of December, and I did decorate this up quite a bit. It's a clear piece of plastic that came in a planner box from long, long ago. Um, and so I put, did put it in there, and I um, attached uh, stickers on both sides. So this is December, and whoops. <laughs> And I just kind of like had only a couple of appointments, my brother's birthday, my birthday. I'm sure there was something that I forgot to put down. So then anyway, here is December 18th to the 31st. The first part I did like, um, let's see. I started writing some reviews and then I didn't start actually actively using this list again until December 18th. Um, which is not good. Like, um, I didn't get a lot done. And every day I say put out the uh, Christmas tree, and I failed to do that and um, decorate the house with lights, and I failed to do that. Uh, and making apple pie, I failed to do that. <laughs> uh, work was just horrendous, and so I was not able to get a lot done. Uh, we have our uh, month end week. Um, at the the last week of December, it was Christmas week, and it was horrible. Like, it was really, really horrible. So I did enjoy decorating up the pages a little bit. I prefer stickers. I don't want to get into all that um, planner art that a lot of people get into because you just put too much pressure on yourself when you do that. If you love it, good. Um, this blank page, I just put a bunch of crap on. And then this is for... Uh, 2020. I just have to get some kind of a design I like and put it on there. And I actually started writing wishes for 2020. I didn't even put my calendar in here yet. Um, you know, how to make things happen and, and all that. I did get quite a few books from the library about budgeting, and so I am going to be doing um, some budgeting. Probably not in here. So anyway, let's put that aside and I'll show you the new planner I got. I have not seen anybody talk about this. Um, this is a little size Law of Attraction. It's the new design for 2020. It has a pen loop um, and that's what attracted me. It also has two ribbon bookmarks, which is good. I'm gonna take this jacket off now. Um, so you can see it's got a pen loop on the back, which I love. Um, I had gotten a, a Christian Daily Planner that had that last year. It was sent to me by a very nice company wanted me to, to um, check it out for them. And this is beautiful. It's rose gold, uh, which might as well be pink. It's got a very firm cover. There are like calendar stickers and all kinds of stuff here. Um, lots and lots of stickers came with this planner and of course I bought stickers too but I'll show you those in a sec uh, this saying is in the beginning of every one of these honestly I think 
I like the passion planner a little better because it was actually first apparently. Um, but I, I like this one because of its compact size and the pen loop on the back. Like you got me with the pen loop, I'm telling you. So anyway, um, I am going to start writing my wishes for, um, 2022. There is a list of things you want to accomplish and I'll add that. I haven't started using this planner yet. Um, and they're like, it's 90 day plans, um, in separate chunks. Um, this is undated. Oh no, it's dated. <laughs> So here we go, January uh, 2020, um, and I haven't really started anything. They did send me this bookmark, and I don't know what the free gift is. I guess I should, I, maybe this is the gift, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, it has this layout, which is good for me, because that, that vertical layout just not, not happening for me. I do like that Saturday and Sunday are on a separate page. Um, and on these days, you know, I'll be writing, I don't know, meal plans, diet, what I weigh and all that kind of stuff. So um, now I can start using, oh, and look, it's actually got little water glasses so you can make sure you're drinking enough water. So I know some people probably like to color those in. I'll probably hit them with a dot of highlighter or just put a check mark. Um, and these, habits. Now I know this is going to have a little bit of overlap for my bullet planner, but the bullet planner is open and on my desk in front of me all the time. Um, it wasn't for the last couple weeks, which is why nothing happened in there. But what I like is this edition has that map. A lot of people want it has a lot of pages in the back. I would have sacrificed some of those for this to be a lighter planner. It's quite heavy. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with this. So, um, I also still am using this. This is purse size and I did show this in another video. The binding is so tight that you have to like smash the crap out of it just to get it to stay open. And so I did put a binder clip. This is going to go in my purse. And I did very quickly, I did get more stickers. I think the video is going to stop on me soon. This was at Walmart and this is by Pen and Gear and it's just a bunch of really functional stickers. And these, um, I love Bloom uh, stickers. I have quite a few of them and this one is like an empowerment one, female empowerment pack. Um, and I just thought they were really cool. So. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very fast. I'm rushing here, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this. And um, next time when I give the, my next Stalogy flip through, it'll be for January. I might wait until after February to do another flip through just because it's already the um, 20th. It's the 20th, the 19th of um, January and I still haven't done anything. So, um, yeah, uh, other than like start, start work on it, but I haven't gotten anywhere. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. I hope you enjoyed this. I know that Passion Planner was first. One of my readers, um, subscribers did tell me that, but it's really the size and the pen loop on the spine that got me. If Passion Planner um, was, I don't know. I know there's a smaller size, but if I like this layout, and I don't know if I can get that in Passion Planner or not. So anyway, thank you. I got, I got to go. I got to go. The battery's dying. Thanks, and have a beautiful evening. Good night. Give this a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Have a beautiful evening. Good night.